Hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. So Fortnite's new season has dropped and I know I'm very late but in this video today I'll be showing you guys the best settings for Fortnite for better FPS, low end PC performance and fix all your troubles related to ping and FPS within this video. So make sure to stick around till the end, I hope this video helps you out. Also statistics says that 96% of you guys aren't yet subscribed to the channel so please do me a favor, hit that right subscribe button down below, it really helps me out a ton and with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, first things first, I always recommend you guys to create a restore point because that will allow you to restore your PC if anything goes wrong. So it's always recommended to be safe and take precautions. So press your windows key and then search for create a restore point. In here, select your local disk C or the disk would say system over here and make sure that protection is turned on. If not, click on configure and then make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on create and name it Fortnite. And then simply click on create button. Once it's done, click on close and close it and let's proceed with the next steps. Alright, moving ahead, the really important thing is adjust appearance of windows. I know a lot of you guys already remembered this from my previous videos but if you are new around here, simply press on your windows and simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Click on it and then select adjust for best performance. And then click on show thumbnails instead of icons. Click on apply and click on ok. As soon as you are done with that step, you will instantly see your windows performing much more faster and optimized. Next step is graphic settings and for that you need to search for graphics. Now in here you'll find all the apps installed in your PC. You need to search for Fortnite over here if you're on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, you can simply click on browse and add Fortnite from its install location. Since I already have Fortnite over here, simply click on options and then select high performance. Then save. Simply do it for Fortnite launcher. Once you're done with both of those settings, I highly recommend you guys to update your GPU drivers. This is very important and crucial step and for that, you need GeForce Experience for Nvidia graphics card and you need the AMD drivers for AMD graphic card. Once GeForce Experience pops up, you need to go to drivers section and over here, click on check for updates and search for the latest drivers available for your GPU. Once you find the graphic drivers, click on express installation and install it to the latest version. This is because Nvidia optimizes each and every game with the latest updates of their drivers to your GPU. This will allow your GPU to render the game much faster and perform well while gaming. Next up, open up your Epic Games Launcher and then over here for filter, look for install. Then you'll find Fortnite in the install libraries. Simply click on these three dots and over here go for options now make sure that high resolution textures is unchecked just by doing this simple step will save you over 15 to 20 more fps all right most of you guys are aware of exit lag that i've been previously telling you guys for ping issues simply go to the link in the description below and you'll be at a page like this click on your free three days trial and then you'll be going to the download page of exit lag Simply download the latest version of exit lag from this button over here. Alright, once you are through the install procedure of exit lag, you'll be going to a screen like this. This is the application interface. Over here, you'll find a list of over 250 games to choose from where you guys can simply search for Fortnite. And over here, let it analyze the routes. This is basically searching the best connections to the server and it will show to you in a moment. Over here, for the game region, go to the nearest location to you. For me, it's gonna be I in Mumbai and as you guys can see, it gives me 3 ping estimated. Simply click on apply routes and then go to the tools section over here. Then go to the FPS boost section over here and make sure to enable first, third, fourth and last 3 options over here. Also, click on disable core parking and then disable windows performance counters and after that you need to restart your pc once but make note that exit lag is free to use for three days after that you need to get a subscription plan so if that works for you you guys can use code bearfox20 and get any of this subscription with flat 20 percent discount so make sure to choose it wisely all right once you've restarted your pc download the fortnite seasons 2 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below there will be two links 
the first link will be going to my website and the second link will be going to my discord server if you guys go to the second link you need to search for the fps pack section in my server and there will be the link to the fps pack also the password you guys will find in the server as well all right once you have downloaded the pack simply extract it and then open the file up in here you'll find four folders the first one is for batch tweaks and over here you need to go with the first file which says clean temporary files simply click on any file and it will remove all of the temporary files from your pc that you no longer need next is remove runtime broker next is the registry tweaks and in here you'll find a couple of registries but don't worry they all do the thing they say simply right click and then open all of them up it will automatically apply to your registries now i've already done that so i'll not do it again you need to make sure that you run all of these next up is services group split all right once you are in services group split you need to look up for your system memory for that search for system information and open it up now once you are in here you need to search for your installed physical memory for me it's 16 gb so i'll be running the 16 gb ram registry this might be a different case for you guys. Also, if that doesn't suit for you, you always have a restore to default registry file. Lastly, in the Windows settings folder, you'll get in two files. The first one is MSI Utility V3, so simply right click and run it as administrator. In here, you need to search for your GPU and then from undefined, go to high. And then click on apply. Last but not the least is Unpark CPU cores. Just simply double click on it and then unpark CPU will pop up. Simply click on unpark all and then click on apply. Click on OK and then close it. Once you're done with these settings, you guys can check a link in the description below for your CPU optimization, RAM optimization as well. So they'll help you guys gain over 10 FPS more. So links down in the description below. Make sure to go check them out. Finally, we can go into the in-game settings. Alright, once you're in game, simply locate these three lines over here and then go to settings. Then over here, make sure you're playing on these settings. Scroll a bit down and for the 3D resolution, I highly recommend you guys to go for 70%. Then simply lower all of these settings, leave textures on medium, disable both of these settings and then keep these things to low. Also for VSync and motion blur, keep it off show fps keep it on for rendering mode go with directx 11 if you have a medium end or high end pc if you have a low end pc go with performance beta over here this is the most important option allow multi-threaded rendering make sure that it is on and then for latency markers keep it off low latency on plus boost again this is a very preference based thing so if on plus boost helps you guys keep it on plus boost if not keep it off I'll also leave a link to this video in the description below. I've explained if NVIDIA Reflex low latency works out best, so make sure you guys go check it out. For DLSS, you guys can either go with performance or keep it off. If you're using DirectX 12, like me, you, I highly recommend you guys to use performance or keep it turned off. Off works best for me, so it's again preference based but just follow these settings so that was it for this video guys i hope you guys have liked this video if you did make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel it really helps me out a lot also make sure to go check out the guys i have made and i hope that helps you guys as well we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out